I actually went out yesterday, so I'm not feeling. I'm feeling very delicate. Let's put it that way. <laughs> So uh, it's Christmas after all, you've got to have a drink with the boys at Christmas, I suppose. In a world where you have your Razors and your Rockats, Steel Series and Logitechs, it's very easy to forget that there are more affordable gaming peripherals on the market, which is why I want to bring the ADX Firepower M04 to your attention. Now, ADX is very much an in-house brand with the UK retailer Dixons, and you can find them in Curry's and PC World brick and mortar stores, or you can also go online if you don't fancy making a trip down to your local branch. So the mouse itself is actually packaged very nicely with this door and a window so you can actually feel the mouse in your hand before you actually buy it, which is a very, very nice feature. Now on the inside of the actual box, you get the mouse itself. Of course, we've already unboxed it because it's sitting here, but you also get some weights, which we'll go over in a moment. And you also get some instructions and a CD, which has the software on it. Now that's very annoying because I tried looking for the driver. My, my desktop doesn't have a CD drive. It hasn't had a CD drive for years and desktops now don't come with CD drives because CDs are becoming very, very rare. But it came with a CD with the driver on there. Now I'll go over this in a moment what you are missing out on if you don't have a CD drive for the software, but uh, I couldn't install the driver so it's very much plug and play for me. There was also nowhere online where I could find the driver to download either which was very frustrating. Um, I tried some very, very weird third party websites which I'm not going to list below because they didn't look like traditional websites, they look very strange. Uh, I found some drivers for the keyboards and the headsets that ADX also offer, but none for the mice. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there, but it worked for me very much plug and play, but we'll go over that in a moment. So the actual mouse is wired as you can see here, and it's been braided with a nylon finish just to save it from snagging on any kind of sharp areas on your desk, and uh, rubber cables do tend to do that if you have got sharp edges on the desk. Now everything is controlled, as I say, it's plug and play. Everything is controlled by the mouse and with buttons on the mouse, including the adjustable DPI, which is located in the center here, which can go up to 8200 DPI. And then you've got an adjustable RGB scroll wheel on there as well. But that's the only RGB changer that you've got. It doesn't change this light or the light strip going down the side of the mouse either. There is an adjustable weight system on this mouse, which is a, this is a pretty, make, this is, it feels a little bit old school way of going about things, but me personally, I prefer the heaviest weights. I prefer heavy mice. So what I've done is I've installed every single weight that they gave me on the actual mouse inside there, and it just gives me, as a gamer, as much comfort as possible. Now, they are, so as I say, they are removable, so you can just pull them out, and they're sitting very much in foam housing when they're inside. This door is magnetic, which is a nice touch. You don't have to fiddle about with plastic clips. So as long as that first part goes into the, the kind of front cutout, and then everything else just falls into place. Whether the driver software does change the other colors, as I say, I'm not too sure because I never managed to install the driver, but I could see if I could get the driver installed, don't quote me on this, but it might be able to change the, uh, the, the different RGB zones on the actual mouse. So on the base, you've got these domes, which are made from plastic, although they do give off this stainless steel kind of finish, but they are very much plastic. Uh, but it gives users the opportunity to use this mouse on a variety of different surfaces, including like sofa fabric, for example. So if you're casting your laptop to your TV to watch movies, you can still make this go across uh, that kind of sofa fabric, leather, uh, sofas, that kind of thing. It works on this wood very, very nicely on this wooden table. Very, very nicely. So you've got a variety of number of surfaces. I'm, I'm personally using a mouse mat. I've got my mouse mat on my gaming setup, which I have absolutely prefer over using it on a piece of wood but if your productivity for example you're not actually gaming or you don't actually mind how it feels on on wood then uh, I mean as I say it doesn't feel bad at all on this surface then you you've got the option to use it on as I say as many surfaces as possible really now the actual mouse itself is rather large as you can see here I mean that's good for me because look at that whopper got some massive hands going on here so I can get a really really nice palm grip on the mouse so I can rest my palm in the center of the, the, the kind of back hump of the mouse and it just rests there. On the left hand side you do have this lip which you can put your thumb which is nice for your thumb rest. Now I wish they had something here as well for your kind of these two fingers, your little finger and your second little finger just to, just to kind of rest because there's nothing there for it to rest on, there's no catch um, and it would have been nice to have a lip on this side as well rather than having your little finger kind of scrub across your mouse mat or whatever surface you're using um, you kind of have to grip the mouse to keep your little finger off of the desk. But it's just a small 
hindrance to me. I would have personally liked it. You may not. Uh, personal preference kind of thing. So the ADX Firepower M04 comes with a total of 12 customizable buttons and they are your left and right click, your scroll wheel, which is also a click. Um, these aren't adjustable, but they're buttons, which is for adjustable RGB and adjustable DPI on there. You've got two buttons on top and then you've got a multitude of buttons down. One, two, three, four, five, six buttons for your thumb down the left hand side as well. Now, it's perfect for something like an MMO, like uh, World of Warcraft, for example, where you can put your most common um, attacks or most common spells on the actual thumb buttons, or if you're going to jump on a mount, for example, you can hotkey it to one of the buttons on the side. Um, and in even things like MOBAs, where you've got usually use Q, W, E, and R for your attacks, and then F and D, but you can just then bound them to the mount, so you can technically play something like. Heroes of the Storm or League of Legends on your mouse. You don't have to touch your keyboard at all if you don't want to. Now the actual scroll wheel itself has clicky feedback on there which is perfect for changing weapons inside of first person shooters. I do know that some mice do have a very very smooth mouse scroll and that's great if you're on a website or you're scrolling through Facebook for example but when you want to change guns it's very hard to tell what is actually registered as a click if your scroll wheel is smooth but on here it's very much very much got a lot of feedback on there to, to tell you that an action has taken place on the mouse itself. So actually gaming with this mouse was an okay experience. It wasn't the best and I'll tell you why in a moment, but using it with a mouse pad, I'm actually using a Fnatic mouse pad at the moment and tracking enemies with a sniper rifle in the horizon in something like Battlefield 5 was smooth enough to do that and even being reactive enough to whip the mouse from left, left to right in something like Heroes of the Storm or some kind of MOBA, it was absolutely reactive and that's thanks to its 1000 hertz polling rate. But I couldn't really get over the fact that there, I couldn't get the driver onto my PC, um, which I've been looking around online. You can adjust the levels that the adjustable DPI is at. Now, I was very much in between setting two and three, which I don't know even know what numbers they were. I haven't got an external CD drive here to get this, the software installed, so I was very much stuck with the presets that the mouse gave me. But I was very much flicking between setting two and setting three, and I was never happy. Setting 2 was a little bit too slow and setting 3 was just way too fast. I wanted some kind of happy medium. And I'm very much... How shall I put this? I'm, I'm very fussy when it comes to sensitivities to my DPI when playing games. I very much, if I'm sniping, I like a very low DPI just so I can get big movements with very small movements on screen when I'm sort of panning across the environment following enemies with a sniper rifle. But if I then jump into... Um, like an assault class in Battlefield 5 or a medic where I'm up close and I'm in the battle, I need to be able to whip around very, very quickly uh, with my character. So I very much like to switch to a high DPI for that. And as I said, when I was sniping, setting two was a little bit too slow. Setting three was way too fast. Uh, so I was never ever comfortable with the actual preset settings on there. And it, it was just a shame. It was just a let down experience. Now I'm hoping in the future that there's just some kind of link or ADX get their own website built to be able to download the software even if it's just a basic basic Squarespace web website where they can keep the files or even on the PC world website keep the driver files on your servers just so we can get that downloaded because most gamers out there aren't going to have a CD drive on their machine they're just not it's just not a thing anymore um, it, in all of these builds that you see online now they never say oh we've got to get the CD drive in there We've got to get the CD drive just in case in one out of a thousand mice come with their driver on a CD. It's not, it doesn't happen anymore. So definitely, that is, you, you're missing out there. You should definitely get your... I, I tell you what, I will tell you what, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I am wrong. I don't think I am because I did some extensive searching through the internet and on Google and different search terms and things and nothing in the instructions told me anything either about getting the software downloaded from online but I could be wrong but let me know. Let me know in the comments if I am wrong if you've had experience with this but from what I could see there, were no, there was no way of getting the software onto my desktop to be able to sort my DPI out. To, if, if I could do that I would give props to this mouse, it's a very nice mouse but because I'm stuck with the presets on there I can't really recommend it because I am a very fussy gamer with my sensitivity options. But the mouse for $39.99 is an absolute steal if you're wanting to start your adventure into the gaming world. Now the only other mouse that PC World offer or Dixon's Retail as a company offer around this kind of price as well at $39.99 is the Logitech G502 which 
On the plus side, you're getting your driver software downloaded from the Logitech website. Don't have to use a CD, but you are losing out on this large number of buttons. So you've really got to weigh out what's more important to you. Is the driver software for the customization or is it more of a benefit to have multiple buttons, like 12 buttons on this mouse? in total for your gaming needs. So thank you very much for checking out this video review of the ADX Firepower M04 Gaming Mouse. If you enjoyed this video, then do click that like button. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments what you think about this mouse, whether you would go for something like this over the Logitech G502, for example. As I say, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.